What happened to Jessica Bedford? A mystery spanning several cities in Metro Detroit. Topping our news at 5.30, the search is on tonight for a local 34-year-old mother seemingly gone without a trace. She was last heard from on Mother's Day. Tonight, the defender's investigation into the missing mom. Where is Jessica Bedford? She has a bachelor's in accounting and a Juris Doctor degree. So what happened to her? That's what her mother so desperately wants to find out. My granddaughter needs her mother and we need our daughter. She remembers Jessica's last call. It was on Mother's Day. And it was very brief, you know, I love you, blah, blah, blah. That was it, you know, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, you know, happy Mother's Day. After that, Jessica made a couple of postings on Facebook and then nothing, no calls, no social media, silence. It's been too long um, and with no communication with anyone, uh, mm -mm, that's, it's not her. Jessica is a mom herself. She has a 13-year-old daughter, but has her mom taking care of her. She knew her daughter was safe because she's always been with me. She needed her mom's help after Jessica's life started to unravel. She lost a very close friend of hers a couple of years ago, and her ex-husband died a couple of years, three years ago. So between the two of those, they pretty much put her overboard. So Jessica started hanging out and living with friends. Her last known address was on Hanover Street in Lincoln Park. She was also known to spend time with friends in the Brightmoor neighborhood in Detroit. The 34-year-old was also spotted many times at this Marathon gas station in Inkster. Places police have searched. She just uh, started hanging around the wrong people in the wrong places, and um, it's escalated from there. Jessica sent this photo of herself to her mom, a bruised eye, a while ago. She said her boyfriend had hit her, but never wanted to share too much. Now the question is, where is the 34-year-old mom now? I worry something bad has happened to her, and I, I want to find her, and I know somebody knows something. They just have to talk. Really a mystery and take a look at what just happened just a few hours ago. This happened uh, downriver. Michigan State Police descended on a home on Clover Lawn in Lincoln Park. Now this is the same home sources tell me that Jessica Bedford's boyfriend was spending some time at for a while. The forensic lab was there as well. I can tell you our defender team was rolling. We spotted investigators actually bringing out a gun, an axe, three dogs and two big turtles in a tank. So at this point, Michigan State Police will not offer any official comment on the search. Meantime, investigators do want information on Jessica Bedford's disappearance. So if you have anything that you can share, you can remain anonymous. Contact Crime Stoppers 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Of course, I'll stay on top of this one.